call order a public works meeting for this evening. Uh, roll call is we have online um, Rose, Betty, Ryan, and we have here Marcus and Dean. Uh, staff members Thomas Cameron, uh, Dave Beeble, and Brian Sasma. Okay, we'll go start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Uh, approval of the minutes. Move to approve the minutes of July's 28th meeting. Second from Ryan. We have a motion to approve and a second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. Any opposed? Any opposed? Oh, any opposed? Okay. okay. All right. Moving on, 3.1, resolution number 70 20 21, August 11th, 2020, direct referral resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Highway Landscapers Incorporated regarding the placement of topsoil at the South Point Enterprise campus. Is it on? Mm. It's, it's a public lectern. I've got that one on. This one right here, right? Nope. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Good. Okay. Sorry. This contract here is, is a bid we went out for to, we have to reseed. Okay, first of all, that South Point Enterprise Campus is, is 150 acres. And there's certain areas of the retention pond, the seed, uh, grass seed just did not take off. So we're gonna, we're gonna try re topswing it and hopefully that'll meet the, meet the DNR requirements. That's what, that's what this is for. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Sure. Uh, the, the first time that we put topsoil on and seeded it, uh, was that guaranteed like plants at Home Depot? No, no. Yeah, no, it was not. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, like David said, with this with this subdivision, we tried to we tried to uh grow the grass by using a lot of um special seeds and fertilizers. So there really wasn't much much fertilizer at all uh, put put on this site. It's it's done it's it's been done before in industrial parks. Uh -huh. Um would I do it again? Probably not, but um, that's that's why we have to be topsoil or add topsoil to this area. I have a follow-up question here. Um, are we sure it'll take this time, or are we going to spending be spending a hundred thousand dollars again next year? No, but the, we're putting on four inches of good topsoil on it, so it should take off. Okay. But I said the design originally was just to use the existing soils that were out there, the clays, and just fertilize them. It's 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 been done before, but. Uh, it just didn't. It just didn't work out there. But you got to realize this is 150 acres. This is a big area. Do we have a motion? I'd make a motion to approve this. I have one more. I have one question. Sure. Go ahead. Is the top soil coming from a local source? No, it's all the top soil that we that we. Um, the, 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 that was on the that was on the the, the site. It's, it's, it's existing topsoil. We just we just topped we just stockpiled it all. We never we never re reapplied it. We just seeded the existing clay once we once we stripped the topsoil. Does that make sense at all? So this cost is for what exactly? I guess I'm confused. I thought it was to bring in topsoil. No, we have topsoil there. We we stripped the topsoil. This 150 acres, put it on a big pile. And we just seeded the clay that was out there, seeded and fertilized the clay that was out there. And it, in some areas, it just didn't take. So now we're going to take that topsoil that's sitting in a big pile, and we're going to reply it to these areas and, and, and seed it there. 
some of the, some of the areas with the with the clay and the right fertilizer, it did it did take off just fine, but there's certain areas it just did not. This type of application has been done before, um, but it just didn't work in some areas. So so we're not we're not bringing topsoil in at all. It's all it's all sitting out there. Okay, are we using um, a different source of or type of seeds, different grasses than we did before? Yes. Or are yes. we hoping that because the topsoil is, has more nutrition and, and um, nutrients in it that we can use the same seed that we did before, but it should do better this time? It'll be a different seed, and plus, obviously, it's going to work. You can grow with, with four inches of topsoil, but no, we are going to use a different type of seed. Uh, but it should be, it'll. Yeah, it'll, it'll just be a different type of seed, a typical DOT project seed for you see Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Could we include some native grasses or clover within that seed mix? Yes, there will be. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So this is going to be covering just the areas that didn't grow? Or yeah. Not? yeah. Yes. So, so there are some areas that you, that you aren't going to be covering? No. Did, right, it just, didn't, it just didn't take off, especially on a retention ponds area. And I think the reason being, if you ever been out the industrial park, those retention ponds are super, super steep. And I think with a lot of the rains and everything, I think a lot of that seed kind of, kind of got away. Even though, even though it was erosion matted, yeah, I think that was part of the issue. The flat areas out there are, are pretty good. There's a few spotty areas that need to be touched up, but for the most part, that's pretty good. It's these really steep retention ponds. So we got three huge ponds out there. Okay, and that's areas that just didn't, it just didn't take off. I guess I have one more follow-up question, if that's okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, due to the fact that we've experienced you know, erosion because of the elevation issues before, then will there be some kind of mulching or something over the top to, to hold the seed down this yep. time? Yep, we're going to use erosion mat. But that was used last time also? Yes, it was, but we're going to use a little bit higher grade erosion mat this time. Okay. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Yes, sir. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second from Ryan. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one second. It must be a typo, yes. Yeah. There is... Um, yeah, there's a typo. Yeah, we uh, staff has found one small typo in the the resolution with respect to the uh, the bid amount. Um, the actual low bid amount was ninety nine thousand five hundred eighty two dollars, not the ninety eight thousand three hundred fifteen dollars listed in the in the whereas clauses. Um, so to avoid any confusion uh, down the road, uh, we would recommend fixing that typo. Okay. So, so uh, I'd make an amendment to uh, change the amount to $99,582. Is that the correct number? Okay. Yeah. So we have to, okay. Do we have a second on the amendment? Second from Ryan. Okay. Okay, well, uh, any, uh, any discussion on the amendment? Okay, seeing none, uh, for, vote on the amendment first. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh. Any opposed? Okay, the amendment passes. Okay, now we'll go back to the original th thing. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye, so have it. motion passes. Next meeting date. Uh, August 25th, 2020, do, uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. Motion is seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We're adjourned. Aye.